Hey friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that I made in the month of September. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your support. All right, let's get into it. So for the month of September, I did not make a lot of clothing. However, I did do some crafty things. I will share with you the clothes that I made and then I will share with you my crafty things and how I've been using them. But I do wanna let you know that while I did want to sew more garments, it just didn't happen. I didn't have enough time in my schedule. My kids have returned to school. They're both playing two different sports. We are very busy in this household. Plus, we just ended summer, and so we were finishing up summer with some fun activities like some professional baseball games that we attended, parties, and things of that nature. There just wasn't time for sewing, and so I ended up just relaxing at night and reading and just enjoying my family. And now that summer has ended, I anticipate sewing more. So hopefully I'll have some more things to share with you in next month's video. The things that I made, though, I'm very happy about. There was one thing in particular that I've been holding on to for so long and I finally got around to sewing it up and that is the So Liberated Stacia dress and top. This is what it looks like and there are several views. There is a short dress, a long dress which is a maxi, a tank top dress and also a cap sleeve dress and all of those versions can either be a top or a dress. Now going into this, I purchased this pattern because I wanted to make the maxi link dress. I did not know, however, though, that the maxi link dress pattern pieces are not included in the pattern. That was such a bummer. I thought I was going to be able to cut this pattern out, cut my fabric out, and just, you know, run through that project on a Friday night. And that is not what happened, friends. I actually had to spend my Friday night altering the pattern. The maxi link dress pieces are not included. So what I did is I cut the skirt portion of the dress at the lengthen and shorten line. I measured out how long I wanted my dress to be and I basically created a piece to go in the middle and I connected it to the bottom of the dress pattern piece and I had to make it wider in order to make everything match up. It was quite the project, and this is kind of like a circle skirt, so it was a big project, let me be honest with you. And so I did that on a Friday night, so that by that point I was too tired to actually sew the dress, so I ended up sewing the dress the next morning. That Friday night is when I read the instructions. By Saturday morning, I thought, girl, you got this in the bag. This is just like making a t-shirt. I did not anticipate that I had made a mistake the night before. And what that mistake was is that this particular dress, since it comes with a tank top option, it has armbands to basically hem off and make the arms look nicer. I had cut out not only the neck band, but I had also cut out the tank top armbands that go around the sleeves of the tank top or the holes of the tank top. And in my haste of trying to sew up my dress before we went to an A's game, I accidentally used the armbands, sewed those together to make the neckband of the dress. So it came out looking nice, but the dress itself is much more low cut than it is intended because I did not use the neckband piece like I was supposed to. So, what are you gonna do? I made a mistake. I don't think that the distance or the length is too far off because it ended up working out, but I do wanna say that you will see in the pictures that you can see the back of my bra. I was really excited that I actually got an opportunity to wear this dress last night. This is a fall dress. This fabric is more weighty. It is cool to the touch, but it is weighty. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to wear this until November, to be perfectly honest, just because it's so hot here. But we went to a birthday party yesterday and by the time we got there, it was evening and it had to cool down a bit. So I was able to comfortably wear this dress. Now this dress is the knit dress of my dreams. I love a good t-shirt dress or you know knit dress. 
the trouble is, is the ones I'm drawn to are clingy to the body and I have a belly, okay? I have two kids, I'm in my 40s, okay? I have a little extra to love, okay? <laughs> and I don't like when fabric clings to my belly or to my belly button. So I might be drawn to a beautiful knit dress, but then when I actually get it on my body, I'm like, ooh, this is not for me. But this dress, is so flattering. First of all, it has this really gorgeous V dip right in the front. It actually hits my belly button right at the front because I have a short torso. So that works out really nice. And then it blouses out or circles out because this is kind of like a circle skirt. And it has these really nice deep pockets which are so gorgeous. It's just so flattering and so comfortable and it doesn't cling to my body in the wrong places. I love it. So anyway, I'm thinking that the armbands is not too much off of the measurement of the, this neckband piece because it still looks so very flattering and it still lays relatively nice. I do know that it would be snugger and not so low cut if I had used the correct piece. But now that I know, moving forward, because there will be other versions of this, I love it so much. As soon as it cools down, I do want to make more of these. I have some gorgeous double brush poly that would be gorgeous in this, but it's too hot. 90 degrees double brush poly, no, no thank you. As a matter of fact, this particular dress, even though it is so stunning and I love it so much and it was so comfortable to wear, I will be putting in my closet probably until next month. And when I say next month, I don't mean the end of October, I mean November, just because it's so hot, okay? I mean, Fall, please come. I wanna wear all the cozy things. I wanna be warm and snuggly and cozy and under a blanket and wearing cardigans and I have some really gorgeous, gorgeous cardigans that I want to wear. It's hot. It's hot, y'all. Anyways, this was a really good pattern. I would say this is an easy pattern. It's just that uh, if you want the maxi length, you're gonna have to do some changes to the pattern. And I don't know if that if that was just my problem, um, like maybe it wasn't included just for me or if it wasn't included for everyone. And I was so tired when I actually read the instructions, it may have said that you need to hack it. Oh yeah, on the back it says optional pockets, multiple sleeves links for fitting, for the perfect tee, for layering, a pattern hacker's canvas, tons of tips on sewing knits, Lots to love. I should have read this more closely when, when I was picking it up because I definitely was disappointed that it did not have the maxi length of the dress. But hey, it's done, it's gorgeous. I never have to do it again. I'm gonna reuse this over and over and over again. And I actually don't think I'll make the shorter version just because the long version is just so much fun. So I highly recommend this pattern because it is such a cute dress, so very flattering. If you are busty, this one looked really good on my bust, and I am, for reference, a 36 triple D, and I felt like it fit me really, really nicely. Um, let's see, what size did I make? That's a good question. I don't remember. Let's see if one, oh, I made a size 14. So a size 14 for me fit perfectly. Typically in like dress sizes for patterns for the big four or big five, I am a size 14, 16. So just to give you reference, it was just the perfect fit. I love it. I'll insert pictures in video so that you can see what it looks like on my body, but I highly recommend this pattern. It is so very flattering. Now, the next thing that I made is a tried and true pattern that I make over and over again. I don't know how many versions of this that I have. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes, and this is the long sleeve version here that I made without the shoulder ruffle. This is my favorite version in the pack but it does come with three different versions in this pattern. It's just so flattering, it looks so good on me. Now, the one thing I did do to this one that is different from my other versions is, this has a really nice curve that's built into the pattern pieces. You can see it on the line drawings. It curves in under the bust, but if you are like me and you have love handles, you don't want it to hug on that. And for my other versions, I was slightly smaller, so it didn't bother me as much. And also I think the fabrics that I chose were really good for um, not being too tight and clingy because those versions look really nicely on me, but I do tuck them in. Without tucking them in, I don't feel as confident, right? I have this really soft, gorgeous waffle knit fabric that I picked up from a clearance section at 
Joanne. And it is a waffle knit that I've never felt one that quite this soft or lightweight. When I made this, the weather seemed to be cooling down, so I got tricked. It was like 60 degrees. I was like, oh, I need something cozy with long sleeves that's light, but also perfect for layering. And so I made this, and then it ended up getting hot. <laughs> and I had to pull my shorts back out. So I haven't worn this yet, but I want to. It's so cute. I love it. It's soft. It's just so nice. I can absolutely see myself wearing this as a regular everyday top or layering it, but I could also sleep in it because it's just that soft. Some waffle knits can have a rougher texture to them, but this is so, I've never felt waffle knit. Like this is so, so soft. And I did put a tag in there and I think it says, yeah, made under the moonlight because I sew at night, mostly. Um, but anyway, this was a quick and easy make. I think it took me about an hour to sew this up, which is perfect. I'll probably make many more just because I really enjoy making this top. It is definitely a palette cleanser, so if you're trying to get back into sewing after a rut, this pattern definitely always helps me to get back into the mood of sewing because it's something I enjoy wearing and it's super easy to make. So yeah, and also the, the fabric itself I think cost me two to three dollars, it was just a yard of fabric. So I did have to do a little bit of hacking in order to make it full length sleeve. I had to cut an additional piece and sew it on like a cuff and I top stitched it in place. So just to make it the full length sleeve, I have made this out of a yard of fabric so many times doing the same thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you make it in a yard of fabric, you probably only, be able to make the three quarter inch um, sleeve unless you do what I did and that's just to create another piece to add on as a cuff. So anyway, this is definitely a pattern I highly recommend and like I said, I've made, made several of them and this is the Agnes by Tilly and the Buttons. I don't have pictures in this, but there will be pictures soon. Okay, now let's go on to some embroidery. So I think it's been two years now since my husband bought me an embroidery machine. And when he got it for me, it was a Christmas gift. I was so excited and I couldn't wait to get started with embroidery. And I had all these plans of all the things that I was going to make for myself and my kids. And I was gonna sell my embroidery projects and all of that. And then I got a little discouraged because I have the smaller brother embroidery machine. So it's only a four by six hoop which means all of my embroidery projects are tiny. I wanted to be able to do big embroidery and I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to do as much with my four by six hoop. So I made a couple of things and then I think I made some a few things when I first got it and then I made a few things last year. Um, but now I'm really pumped to do more embroidery projects and I started by first making myself a book bag. So this is just a cheapy little canvas blank from Michaels, I wanna say it was like $2. I obviously would prefer to make my own totes going forward, like if I was going to gift it to someone or whatever, if I was gonna be using it for any like heavy use or if I was gonna sell it. But I just needed a little bag to take my books and my water bottle up and downstairs and to different rooms in my house because I always read on a Kindle, but I also have my actual book book on me and so if I'm gonna go in the family room while the children are napping in the classroom and I want to read, sometimes I don't know which book I wanna read and so I'm a mood reader so if I want something scary, I might want my book. But if I want something that is romantic or fantasy, then I'll read it on my Kindle or whatever the case may be. I just keep them all together. And I was having trouble carrying all these different things. So anyways, this is just a book bag to carry my things around the house or like today I went to my son's soccer game and I had my book and my water bottle. He always likes to get to the field almost an hour early, sometimes earlier, so he can practice before the game. And so I had all my stuff in this book separate from my purse and I love it. And so anyways, the embroidery files I purchased on Etsy and this one is a cute little ghost and the ghost has a little iced coffee and a book perfect for fall and it says books. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that would be so fun and I actually love it so much that I plan to put this on some sweatshirts in different colors because I will enjoy wearing them all of October if it ever cools down. 
I will wear it into the Christmas time, okay? I will wear it until it's summer again, even though it's Halloween themed, okay? The next thing that I embroidered is a t-shirt, and this particular t-shirt is super soft. Uh, Michaels has different brands of um, blanks, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, bags, whatever. And they, this one in particular is, I, I'm pretty sure I got it from Michaels. It's called Canvas, Bella Canvas. Super, super soft. And for this embroidery file, it is fall themed. And I can actually wear this one even though it's not cold yet. And I love it. It has the big water cup, some fall leaves, your books. And it says, I'm all booked. I love it. I think it's so cute. And so... I think my next version will have a hot pink cup, just like the one that I drink out of now. But anyway, um, this was my next embroidery project and I love it. I think I also want to put this on a book cover and I'll show you some cute book covers in just a minute because I think that would be perfect for fall reading. So that was that one. Now the next item that I embroidered is a sweatshirt. And this one I love, but I'm sad because I ended up buying an embroidery file that is so small. And I thought it was going to be more the size of this one, the ghosts. But this particular file only sold me the, the ghosts in a group, not individual. So I had to go back and buy from a different seller later. But if you look closely, you can see there's four different little ghosts all holding books. And again, it says books. <laughs> Anyways, I had so much fun embroidering these and I actually did it yesterday. So I don't have any pictures wearing these items yet. Um, but they definitely were a joy to make. And now I am really into my embroidery like hook. Okay, I want to embroider everything. And it's partly because... I think the longest embroidery project was the t-shirt and that took 53 minutes to do and that's what's kind of cool about the embroidery machine it tells you how many minutes it'll take for each project I can sit and read while doing embroidery because I literally just push the button and it goes and then it tells me to change my colors and I change my colors and then I push the button and it goes I don't have to sew it like a sewing machine so therapeutic so easy so fun I can wash dishes and, and embroider at the same time I can read a book and embroider. I can watch YouTube and embroider. It's just fun, quick, and easy. The problem is you have to have blanks. You have to have the actual things to embroider on, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, I have quite a few things that I can embroider on, but I also will probably buy some more blanks. All right, so the next thing that I've been making, I've made a lot of, and I am plan to make more. These are book covers. And the reason why I make book covers is because when you are reading a paperback book, um, it's very easy to just mess up the corners or just the books in general. I am a person, I'm not gentle with my books. I crack them open when I read them. And I just wanted them to be protected. I also throw them in my bag in the passenger seat of the car. And I didn't want them to get messed up over time. So I did a few different patterns. I drafted them myself um, to figure out which one I liked best. I used fabric in my stash and actually these were the first two that I made. This one is perfect for Harry Potter and that's what me and my kids are reading at night. We just started it. We've seen, I think it was last year I made them do a whole marathon and we watched all the movies and we enjoyed it so much but it's fall time so by Christmas we should have read all the books and watched all the movies and so far we're on not even halfway through the first book because it's very hard to get my kids to sit down and want to read with me but I think it's really important for us to compare the book to the movies so anyway this is the first one that I made and like I said I drafted it myself I just measured the book and it just has a simple flap to slip the front and back cover into and then I made a cute little bookmark which is so so cute I think I'm gonna actually do a tutorial for book making bookmarks but on one side it has the Harry Potter um, scarf and then it has stacks of books it has a library on the back with more books so cute I laminated it I added a tassel love 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 I'm actually going to be making more I made some for my son um, to give to some girls in his class I might make more for that purpose as well but I think they're fun and it's a it's a quick little thing that I can do for myself now this only fits a small book 
So I knew that this would only work for a couple of books in my collection. Most of my books are much bigger. And so I moved on to trying out different ones. And so this is a different measurement and this is scrap fabric from my stash as well. It's that beautiful eyelet fabric that I got and made my button up. And same deal, it's got a flap on each side. Really cute, love this so much. Very feminine and gorgeous. And I could see myself using that one all year, but it is spooky season, okay? It is time for the spook. So I also made some skeleton ones. And this, I have fabric. I was planning, planning to make and sell tote bags out of this fabric. So I had like four yards of this fabric. So I made a couple of book covers out of this spooky fabric. Um, I even have enough to make pajamas if I want. On one side, it has the slip for the front. But on the other side, I created um, an adjustable flap and put a piece of elastic. That way this book cover can cover different sizes of books, not just this measurement of this book. So that gives me more flexibility and it just has a piece of elastic. And I added a, uh, a ribbon bookmark. So anyway, I made two of those and I'm thinking about doing a sewing tutorial for these. These are two different measurements. That's why I have two of them. And if you'd be interested in a sewing tutorial for these book covers, let me know because now I have cracked the code on the perfect measurement for a book that is like six by eight, which is most of the books. And I could show you, well, you can't see underneath my desk, I have a book cart and it has mostly books that are the same size. So I've got the measurements down. Let me know if you want a tutorial for this. So I did that. And then because I love making bookmarks, I'm a crafty person, I'm a paper person, I have lots and lots and lots of different types of scrappy things in my classroom. And I work with kids, so I always have art supplies. So I made a ton of bookmarks and I plan to make more. These are just the end of the summer bookmarks. And I used Wrong Wrong stickers. She's my favorite sticker artist. And yeah. So these are really cute and like I said I made some and sent them to school with my son um, a, a week ago and these are the ones that I kept for myself and do I need this mini no do I like to switch them out yes <laughs> so those are all the things that I made in the month of September and I think I actually shared with you in a previous video some other things I'll link that video it'll be on the next video that pops up if you're interested in seeing the other things that I made but yeah I am just pleased with how September has wrapped up. It has been busy. Um, it was a really nice way to end my summer, the things that I did with my family. And I really appreciate you all for continuing to support me even when I am absent. So thank you so much. If you'd like to further support me, I do have some videos on my channel that do not have as many views. Please check out my channel and see if there are any videos that are on my channel that you didn't see before and watch those so that I can increase my views on some of my older videos. But yeah, I just really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I should be posting a video pretty soon to let you know what my upcoming plans are. I did share a couple of plans with you. This dress was one of those plans, but I have since come up with some additional sewing projects that I want to sew up in the month of October. So that video should be coming up soon. I hope you have a fantastic day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful start to fall. As you know, this is the second now week of fall. So I hope you enjoy the beginning of fall and that you get into all the fall activities. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.